What's up guys, this is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be getting into another content editing tutorial. That is actually going to be how you can add pop-ups to your own videos. With that being said, all the links to the presets will be down below in the description. And over 70% of you guys that watch my videos are actually not subscribed to the channel yet. So make sure to drop a sub. It's 100% free for you guys to do and you can change your mind at a later date. But with that being said, hope you guys do enjoy and I'll see you guys on my PC. All right guys, so I'm on my PC now. The first thing we're going to do is we're literally just going to take any sort of video. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my documents, wherever I have my uh, intro saved to. And let's just say we want to use this random intro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to press Control Alt F, which will actually scale it fully. And uh, if you guys want to check out my intro editing tutorial, I'll have that in the description. I briefly touch up on pop-ups, but I'm going to go a bit more in depth in this video. Might be a bit of a fast tutorial, um, but yeah, I'm going to just try to actually touch up a bit more on uh, pop-ups in this one. So we just have a random portion selected. Obviously, you would have a random part. I'm not going to like go through this video just to find where I say one little thing and I want to do a pop-up on it. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to find some sort of random PNG that I'll have on my PC. So let's quickly just let's pretend that I'm talking about After Effects. So I'm going to click on uh, I'm going to look up After Effects PNG. Obviously, you would look up whatever you want. So if you talk about Fortnite, you talk about, I don't know, maybe TV. You could look up TV PNG. You could look up Fortnite PNG and then just download whatever image you'd like. So I'm going to call this After Effects. I'm going to save it to my music folder because that's whatever it recommended. I'm going to press this file icon right here to actually open up the folder that it is in. And then we're just going to drag it in our After Effects. So let's pretend um, that we say something about After Effects right at this point on our video. I'm going to hide this real quick. So let's pretend that I say, you know, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit something in After Effects. So when I say After Effects it is this point, and then normally what I'll do is I'll keep it on for about maybe two seconds. So I'm going to add a marker two seconds after. So we go three seconds and then it goes about to five seconds and uh, we'll have that like that. So we're actually going to unhide this thing right here so we can actually see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about half a second before. So we're going to go right about here is about half a second. We're going to press control shift D to select the, uh, well, we're going to select the layer and then press control shift D to actually cut it down. We're going to go a bit to the side right here and we're going to do the exact same thing. So the key to uh, these pop-ups is you could either do two different things. You could do something where it like scales up or we could do something that is like a positional thing where it slides across the screen or maybe a bit of both where you have it like from the corner scaling up that kind of stuff. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you guys is a scale in scale out uh, pop up. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the desired scale. So let's say, for example, um, we want to have it over here. We're going to press key on our, not, not key, P on our keyboard to actually find the spot. And we're going to adjust the X and Y values to actually adjust this accordingly to where we want it to pop up at. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press S on our keyboard and we're going to find a scale that works for us and actually keyframe it on this spot by pressing this little tick over here. And then obviously we're going to go back to the very beginning and we're going to click on or change the scale to zero. Sorry. And we can see it pops up. And then what we're going to do is going to select these keyframes, paste them, and then we're actually going to invert the values by dragging over the keyframe value, which is 34%, and then it goes back down to zero. So right here, we can see that it does a little pop-up like this, and then it goes back out. Obviously, it looks really linear, so we're going to just click, left-click, and drag over these, select and press F9 on our keyboard. What that'll do is it'll kind of ease it a bit more like you guys can see, which is cool. You can leave it that way if you'd really like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to graph edit it, which will make it uh, a lot smoother. So what we're going to do is we can see all our things right here. When we click on a point, it'll bring up these yellow lines. These are actually to adjust them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift on my keyboard, which actually locks this to the axis. So no matter how high up I try to go with my thing, it always keeps it on this black line. So I'm going to go something like this and I'm going to go something like this. And what that'll do is it'll make it a nice and smooth pop up just like that. And we can see it goes smooth up and it kind of snaps. So the, the more straight we make this right here in the middle is the more snappy it'll be. So we can see it snaps up right there. You know, it goes smooth from this value, snaps up and then smoothens into the actual point where we have it at the 34%. And then if we wanted to do that on that side, but with the opposite where we have it go slower and then snap and then ease into the very end like this, just like that where it snaps and then does a bit of a smooth. We can do this by actually dragging this along just like that. And that is actually a really clean way to do scale in just like this. And that is actually what we are doing. 
So all we got to do from there, if you want to add motion blur, you can just click on this tile right here with this little three circles thing. And what that'll do is it'll add a nice little blur when it does do a pop up and it makes it seem a lot smoother. And we can see like that it is buttery smooth, looking super crisp. And all we got to do there is we can look up something like drop shadow right here. We can drag in an S underscore drop shadow on top of it and then adjust our settings accordingly. Uh, to maybe something like let's do 35 instead of 40 just because it is looking a bit too much and just like that we can see there is a bit of a drop shadow around the edges and then it does this nice little pop up just like that which is super cool and then we'll see it go back out and that is actually the first type of pop-up that i'm going to be showing you guys in this video the next type of pop-up i'm going to be showing is actually how you can uh, change the position on it so i'm going to be changing the scale back to 34 percent which is something that we messed around with before in the scaling kind of pop-up and uh, the thing that we're actually going to be messing around with is positioning. So since we have the positioning set from the last one, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to find the right point by pressing P on our keyboard while selecting this layer and actually dragging it around to find the right point. We're going to find our markers that we made. So like I said before, we're going to find the point where it says like whatever it is popping up. So if I said something about After Effects, we're going to keyframe where I say After Effects and then we're going to go about two seconds after and then put another uh, marker down and then that'll be the point where it starts to go out again. So right here, we actually want to have our values keyframed at the point that we have it set at. And then obviously what we're going to do here is we're going to drag it off the screen, whether it's to this side, just like this, or if we want to have it up by adjusting this one, that's completely up to you guys. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adjusting it off the screen just like this. And then we're going to be copying this value right here by pressing control C going to the very end and actually just changing that value to the C value or not the C value, the, the copied value. And we can see it does a nice little slide in right there and then it slides back out and it is looking not the cleanest right now like it was before. It's very linear. So we're going to left click and select all these, press F9 on our keyboard, go into our graph editor. And actually before we do that, we're going to right click on the uh, position values. We're going to separate the dimensions. And then if we only uh, change the X position, we're going to select the X ones. And we're actually just going to do a similar graph to what we did before where we press shift on our keyboard to lock the axis. Then we're going to slide it along just like that. And that actually does a nice little swoop in. And then right here, we're going to do something like this, bring that along just like that. And we could either have it snap along if we want, we can have it out like this and then maybe have it a snap a bit later. It's 100% up to you guys. If you want to have it snap a bit earlier, you can bring the bottom one. But just remember that this graph represents the speed and how the speed actually changes throughout the in between these values. That's kind of the best way I can explain it. And then obviously tick the uh, motion blur once we've done that. And then you can just copy these drop shadow settings for S underscore drop shadow after you've done that. If you want to, let's say we want to do a scale transition. That is actually it for the position transition. So I'm just going to delete the values for this. We can keep our uh, position values the exact same. We're actually going to collapse this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring up our scale. We're going to keyframe our scale in these points. And we're actually going to replicate the exact same kind of scale in that I showed you before. We're going to change it to zero on either side right here just like this and then we're going to select these by uh, left clicking adjust and then do the graph that i showed you guys before i'm actually going to be showing you a nice little rotate that you can add to this and i'll uh, have this as a preset in the description if you don't feel like doing it yourself and uh this is kind of just guesswork that's pretty good to be honest yeah that's good enough all right so i'm going to be pressing r on my keyboard to actually add a rotation um, I'm going to have it just as the default value right here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to have the rotate right here to maybe something like a full 360. So we're going to change this to zero, have this at one, and then we're going to change this to zero right here. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to have that there. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to copy paste these values again, but obviously I'm going to invert them. So I'm going to drag that along just like this, select it. And then we're going to do almost the exact same kind of graph. So just bring that along, bring this along right here. Looks perfect. So just like that. And then on this one, we could do this 
and have it do the same kind of thing on the way out. And that is the best way that you can do that. I hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial on how to do pop-ups. I'm going to have presets for all those in the description for the position, or sorry, not the transition, the position pop-up, the rotation, as well as the scale in and out. Hope you guys did enjoy, though. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see on a future uh, tutorial on the channel. But I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Peace out.